Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make French related content. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. But that's right guys, I'm doing another vlog for you today. Uh, you guys seem to really enjoy these when I do them, but I'm gonna try to do these more often. In today's agenda, we're gonna be hitting up pretty much all of the rack stores such as Burlington, TJ Maxx, Ross, and Marshall. So I cannot wait to see if we find any hidden gems, any fragrances whatsoever. Hopefully we can come across like maybe a Mansara or something like that since last time I did come across Hindu Kush by Mansara and I was blown away. Yeah, let's hit the streets. But before we do that, my scent of the day is actually M. Waj's Interlude Man. I have already sprayed this on. I did about six sprays of the Blue Beast. And as you guys know, if you caught my review of Interlude Man, I pretty much rated this a perfect 10 out of 10 masterpiece. I absolutely love this smoky, warm, resinous fragrance by Amouage, but let's go ahead and get on the road. All right guys, so before we head out, I actually just got this box at my door. So let's just do a quick unboxing of this. All right guys, so I got everything cut. Let's see what is inside of this box. Ooh, looks like it's a fragrance. Okay, I'm not sure what they are. Oh, okay, I think I do know. No way, guys, it's actually Authenticity Perfumes. I think they sent me out Fresh Boss and Summer Vibes. So shout out to Authenticity Perfumes. As you guys know, I love Coffee Lush and Lone Rich. So check out those, but I do have these in, so I'm so excited to pretty much review these for you guys. But yeah, let's head out now. All right, guys, so I just got out of TJ Maxx. As you saw, they did have a couple things. I saw that Dolce Gabbana K, but don't get too carried away. It was actually an aftershave, but for 44 bucks, I was like, wow, that would have been a steal, but I do own K and I do love that fragrance. I did pick up Black Walnut Legend, as you can see here. Now, on FragranceNet, this actually goes for like $55. And as you guys can see, it was listed on clearance for $16. And I got an additional 10% off, so I got it for like $14.50. And I heard this is kind of similar to Aventus, so I will be doing a first impression and unboxing of this one. So stay tuned if you are interested in that. Let's head over to Burlington now. All right, guys, so I just got out of Burlington. They did have a huge selection. They did have a humongous bottle of gray flannel on Clarence well, at a very good price. They also had a few of the uh, Banana Republic Icon line that you guys know I'm a huge fan of, but I actually own every single one of them besides the three brand new ones that just launched. And they had those on Clarence for 13 bucks. So, I mean, at $13, that's the first time I see them at that price. That is a phenomenal price. Go check out your local Burlington if you're actually looking for the Icon Collection. I walked out of there with nothing, nothing really caught my eye or was worth it to purchase today. After Burlington, we are going to go head over to 
Marshalls now. So let's head over there now. All right, guys, so I just got out of Marshalls. As you saw, they did have a pretty nice selection of fragrances with a nice variety and quite a few stuff on discount that I haven't seen on discount for a very long time, like the Dreamer, which you guys know I love the Dreamer and I recently reviewed it. So if you're looking for the Dreamer, hit up Marshalls. They had it for 28 bucks for a 100 mil, which is a pretty good price. Now I'm actually gonna end it off going to Ross since there's a Ross pretty much right next door. So let's run in the Ross and see if they have anything there. All right, guys, so I just got out of Ross. As you saw, they didn't have much 
Ross usually only carries like uh, celebrity fragrances, stuff like that. As you saw, they had Ariana Grande Cloud, which did get some hype because it smelled like Back at Adderus 540. It did have a uh, low to say, but it was for, I think, $40, which do not buy it at that price. You could definitely find a lot cheaper. And they had like 212 uh, Carolina Herrera for 40 bucks as well. And yeah, just nothing really good, uh, surprisingly. And they do also have a Gabe's. I'm going to pass on Gabe's. No one really goes to Gabe's. They don't really carry that many fragrances or anything like that. So that's pretty much going to wrap up the shop. The only thing I did buy was, like I said, the Banana Republic uh, Legend or Black Walnut Legend which I am kind of excited about to test it out and see if it does smell similar to Aventus. So stay tuned for that. But now I'm just gonna grab some dinner and probably head back home. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I just got back home. As you saw, I did go through the Raisin Cane's drive-thru. Man, I am so excited to have some Raisin Cane's. I used to eat it all the time, but since I moved, I don't have one near me anymore. So I'm gonna be grubbing out on that. I hope you guys did enjoy the vlog. I know you guys enjoy the last ones I do. I'm gonna try to do these a little bit more often. They are fun to do. And I love obviously fragrance hunting, hence my name, Fragrance Hunter. So yeah, so it's always fun and a good time. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe down below if you guys haven't already. And I'll catch all you guys in the next upload. Take care, everybody.